Good people of YouTube, my name is Spanner. Welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2, It Came From The Sea. So, um, when I finished the mission last time, um, I tried something because, I, I don't know, it, it, it kind of annoys me that I have to start the next mission immediately after and I can't go back to the main menu. So I tried Alt F4 and uh, apparently it did not save my last turn. So I had to redo it all over again and this time the priest did have sustain when I went to kill him with Bradford when Bladestorm. So uh, things changed. You may notice I have a couple more points here. That's because uh, several uh, chrysalids spawned. Yeah, and since the priest had sustained, Holy Warrior um, got disabled. So the Muton was still alive. So yeah, that happened. So I had to redo this whole turn and a few extra. But nothing bad happened, even though our uh, specialist was almost dying again. Well, not again, but... Almost dying like um, all the others. So we got the PCS chips. Oh, I actually get uh, different soldiers, yeah. Yeah, so these are definitely randomized. Okay, but never mind about that. Got uh, like uh, 3000 extra points, so I'm kind of happy about that at least. Let's go into mission 3. We made our way further up the coast by boat while chasing the DJ signal. From what we pieced together, he had been building his own radio network across the territories that were still free from advent control. Rigging stolen relays and antennas up and down the seaboard to get his message across, he had managed to stir something else up. Whether it was the frequency or something in the equipment itself, the chrysalids loved the sound of his voice. To them, it was like the DJ had been here. ringing the dinner bell in every town he visited. Now that we had a working theory as to what was attracting the chrysalids, all we had to do was go in and destroy all the equipment the DJ had already installed. Sounds easy enough, right? Well, it wasn't. The closer we got, the more trouble we found. Alright, so in this mission we are timed. The UI is, is a little bit cramped here. Mostly because of this mod. And uh, we didn't have the score in normal missions, so... This is b basically my usual setup with a... Uh, an extra element here. So we need to neutralize all hostile targets and destroy the radio before transmission completes. Oh, I remember this mission. I had a... Uh, I think one of my soldiers died here when I did this before. Mostly because um, I mis completely misread a situation. Uh, anyways, let's... Uh, let's move on up. No one. Okay, let's move Bradford too. Gonna leave a sniper up here. Closing on target position now. Moving. Everyone else gets down here. Okay, we see no one. Do I want to stay up here or go down there? There's probably chrysalids down here. Let's uh, try and keep the high ground, perhaps. Agreed. You can stay down here. Oh. Codex, Viper, and two Sectoids. You're going down here too. Uh, oh, that's right. You, you, you can't shoot because you have... Um, you can only shoot your pistol right now. Okay. 
seconds. Let's do this quietly. We can't really get in there. Maybe if I snipe someone. No, I would prefer to snipe down the Viper. Maybe we can get a better position right up there. And we'll strike next turn. Exactly what it was originally designed for. Maybe the aliens needed them to corral the chrysalids. Maybe they didn't even have control of all these monsters. Yeah, we can definitely reach them now. Uh, how do I want to do this? Do I want to just start shooting? We could just use the codex. Nah, nah, nah. For the codex. I want to use you since you have blue screen rounds. And we'll open like this. Nice kill. Okay, now they moved. I think we get a couple of openings now. We're going for the sectoids. One dead sectoids. And I will probably have you parry. Now Bradford's and friends. Oh you can't you cannot see the sectoid, so you're gonna have to shoot this guy anyway. Oh dodge, why? Uh, let's split our shots, maybe. Couple on the sectoids. The sectoid is burning, though. And we now have better aim against it. So if I use Bradford's... Can't really flank the Viper. It's a 91, though. Oh, dodge again? Hmm. Uh, now I kind of want to kill the Viper because of the poison and the grab. Yeah. Well, we missed anyway. That, that sucked. The enemy chases my life. We are gonna get wounded here, damn it. I don't wanna lose any more points. Uh, we'll kill the sector with the Templar to get the extra focus. And we keep moving. Attacking 
Once we actually got close enough to see the transmitter, it was clear as day that our DJ had failed to mention one critical detail. The damn thing was pure alien technology, and not even Advent stuff. Something oh, I think we found someone. Okay, chrysalids. Wouldn't mind unleashing Bradford on them. We'll see what happens. Maybe we won't have to. Nah, we will. Blade Storm is gonna be great against these guys. Oh, and I see some more over there. Hey, come for Bradford's. He's very, very weak. Oh, yeah, apparently he's very, very weak. Can't believe he missed that. This could be bad. Don't miss again. Please. Thank you. Oh, and that was a dodge. There we go. Another dodge. I'm starting to think this was uh, unnecessarily risky. Well, we wiped them out. Except for this one. Oh, here comes another one. These guys keep spawning from the water, so I wonder if it's worth it to just farm them, maybe? If that's even possible. Okay, let's move you closer. You're starting to be a bit too far. Let's heal Bradford's. Get rid of that poison. And everyone should be good for now. I think there are a couple of guys that are around this area, so I don't want to move in too close. At least not yet. We'll wait until everyone's ready. Oh, here's another one. Oh, this is a proper chrysalid. Oh, we have eyes on the objective. Might as well just destroy it. Destroy it while we're at, we're at it. Um, is there some? Eh. Moving to designated position. I'll move you here. You have eyes on the objective too. Oh, I guess we spotted them. It's okay. Uh, priority number one is that Lancer. Do something like this. I will tear you apart. 
Now we get you, we parry. I think roadkill can... Uh, maybe I should have done this the other way around. Now roadkill can totally get this guy, right? You can stay there. Here we go. Oh, you're marking. I don't like that. My cover will only hold so long. Ah. Oh. Okay, I do not mind that at all. Okay, gonna have to kill this guy. Here we go. Uh, can I pull... Oh, 59. I'll take this chance. Nice. This helps a lot. Wait, I can shoot again? Why can I shoot again? Just this is not a free action. Hmm. Weird. I'm gonna leave you completely open, but you only need to hit a 92. For a moment there, I actually thought he missed. I almost felt bad about wishing Advent on him. Almost. I mean, he did bring it on himself. Stolen equipment aside, did he think the aliens were just gonna let him mouth off all day with no reprisal? We all know the aliens love a good reprisal. And we got it. And no one died this time. We destroyed the transmitter before the chrysalids completely overran our position. Now that we knew we were dealing with alien technology, I had a feeling. Um, hmm. Yeah. There was some salvageable equipment among the aliens. Can't really get the vests because we, we, were, we got the ammo and it, it replaces it. So, not really worth it. Let's take the spider in exosuit. Uh, it's not really that beneficial to us, since um, only the ranger, the sharpshooter and the psi operative will uh, get, benef get its benefits. We got deflect and channel. Run and gun, plasma grenades, quick draw. Uh, we have our uh, Psy operative here, with Venom Rounds, a Psy Amp and a Plasma Grenade, Soul Fire, Stasis and Inspire. We have Full Throttle and we have Field Medic. Okay, we still do not have Bronze, I'm pretty sure we, we will get it next time on the fourth mission. But for now, thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed some more uh, Legacy Ops, and as usual, don't miss the next episode, because I won't. I will see you all next time.